quadratic equations, let's look at factorising. So what is factorising? Well, thinking about the word factor, factorising is taking out a factor from a number or an expression. So we've got our quadratic expression here. If we take out a factor of x minus 5, we're going to be left with x plus 1. So x minus 5 is a factor of this, and x plus 1 is also a factor of this. So now I'll show you how to get there. There's two methods I'm going to show you. They're very similar, but the first one is a nicer way of doing it. So it's called the grid method. Now you may notice that it's very similar to what it looks like when you multiply out expressions, and it basically is, but we're just going to use it in reverse. Now we want to fill in all of these first in essence to figure out what we are going to end up with here. Now this first part of the quadratic equation, I'm going to pop in here, which is x squared. Now we can only get to this point if we multiply x and x together. So x times x equals x squared. The next point is plus 12. Now we're going to put that in here. Now we want two numbers that multiply together to get 12, but also add together to get plus 8. So if we look at pairs of factors, well 1 and 12, there's no way we could add or take away them to be able to get 8. So we're going to dismiss them. Uh, we've got 3 times 4 equals 12. Well, 4 add 3 is 7, so it doesn't quite get us to 8. So we'll dismiss them. What about 6 and 2? Well, 6 times 2 is 12, obviously, because they're factors of it. 6 add 2 is 8. So therefore, they must be the factors we're looking for. So we've got plus 6 here and plus 2. Then if we multiply 6 and x, we're going to be left with plus 6x. And then multiply x and 2 to be left with plus 2x. So if you notice, these two here are actually added together to get this part here. So we can now look at the top row and the side column and we can get our final answer, which is going to be x plus 6 and x plus 2. And that is a quadratic expression factorised. One more question, but with tricky numbers, so I'm going to draw my grid out. We've got x squared which is going to be here, and it's going to be x multiplied by x to get x squared. Then we've got minus 30, which goes in here. Then we want to find a pair of factors of 30 that can multiply together to get minus 30, but add together to get plus 1, because we've got plus 1x. So if we have a look at 1 and 30, well, there's no way we can use them to get to positive 1, so we dismiss them. Uh, what about 5 and 6? Well, 5 times 6 is 30. So one of these needs to be a minus to get to 30, because a negative times a positive equals a negative. Well, to figure that one out, well, let's have a look. 6 take away 5 equals 1, but 5 take away 6 equals minus 1. And because we've got a positive 1 here, we want this one and not this one. So ignore this, we've got 6 and minus 5. So we can input this into our grid. So we've got minus 5 and plus 6. So then we're left with minus 5 times x equals minus 5x, and plus 6 times x is plus 6x. Remember, these two values add together to get this value here. Finally, we've got these two at the top and these two at the side. So we're going to write them out. So we've got x minus 5, x plus 6. When you multiply them together, you'll get the quadratic expression we started with. So we've got our final answer. The second method is very similar, so I'm going to rush through this one. So we want two numbers that multiply to get 12, but add together to get plus 8. We've got 2 and 6. Let's write out these brackets. We know x times x equals x squared, so we've got x, x, uh, plus 6 and plus 2 to get 8, so plus 6 and plus 2. There's our final answer. Second one, I'm going to write out the brackets first, actually. So x squared is x times x minus 30, well, we've got 5 and 6, multiply to get 30, we've got 5 and 6, and we need to figure out which one's positive, which one's negative, well 6 take away 5 equals 1, so therefore 6 and minus 5, so plus 6, minus 5, and there's a final answer. Here's your chance to have a go yourself, pause the video, have a go with it, and play it again when you're ready for the answers. Question 1, so we've got our grid, we've got x squared, I'm going to pop here, Plus 15, I'm going to pop here. Uh, we've got 3 and 5. Actually, 3 times 5 is 15. 5 add 3 is 8. So I'm going to put x plus 3, x plus 5, plus 3x, 
plus 5x. Yep, 5x plus 3x equals plus 8x. So therefore, our final answer for this one will be x plus 3x plus 5. Question 2. I'm going to draw my grid out. x squared minus 28. Bit of a tricky one. Well, x times x equals x squared minus 28. Uh, we could have four lots uh, of seven. Well, seven take away four equals three. So we've got seven and minus four plus seven minus four plus seven x minus four x. Brilliant, that works. So therefore, we're left with x plus seven and x minus four. Here's some trickier ones to have a go with. Now, these are some high level stuff. I recommend using the grid method for this. Pause the video, give them a go, and we'll go through them together. Question three here. I'm going to draw the grid out. We've got 2x squared, we've got plus 3, and this is where it gets a bit different. Because we've got a coefficient, we're going to have x here and x here, but one of them is going to also include a coefficient. So 2 times 1 is 2, so one of them must be 2x. So you've got to be careful at this point. So for 3 pairs of factors, 3 times 1 is 3, so we can only use these two numbers. However, the difference this time is 3 plus 1 doesn't equal 5, but because we've got this factor of 2 here, it's going to change things a little bit. So I'm going to trial them out. So I'm going to put plus 3 plus 1, see how this goes. Plus 3 times x equals plus 3x. 1 times 2x is plus 2x. So actually, 3x plus 2x equals 5x. So therefore, this must work. So we're left with 2x plus 3, x plus 1 as our answer for this one. Finally, for this one, got 3x squared, so 3x squared and minus 24. So I'm going to put 3x there and x there. And we need something for these two to end up being minus 14. Well, if we try a few things out, I've done this before as well. So this is going to be plus 4x minus 18x to get minus 14. So our final answer will be 3x plus 4 and x minus 6. That's all for this video. Feel free to watch some more of the videos. I hope this helped. Stay safe and healthy and I'll see you in the next video.